Well, it is the weekend before teal season and we are out at the lease here, kind of figuring out how much we want to flood this pool. So I thought I'd kind of give you guys an update. We are freelance duck hunting and we do have this lease and we're going to be hunting it about mm, 10 times, I'd say, around yeah. that, out yeah. of our 25 to 30 hunts. Yep. Um, but we are freelance duck hunters, so if there's not birds using this pool, we we're going to hunt somewhere else. We paid a lot of money, but we ain't staying mm -hmm. here. If, I no. mean, it's it just water under the bridge. And, well, Fumbles has been out here all week filling the pool on and off. Been pumping a lot of water. So we don't want to pump this pool all the way full, right? No, uh, we've got millet planted and there's going to be hardly any open water here because the millet's coming up so thick. But if we inundate the millet and bring the water up over the seed heads, then it's going to kill it. And you can't do that until after the seeds are set and dropped. All we need for teal is, you know, two or three or four inches of water. So we're and just trying to put enough in here to get those teal in here, but we don't want to spoil regular duck season. Right. So we're just going to give you a little tour of, of what it looks like right now and kind of some of the plants. Um, and what we think there are, we are not seed experts at all. No, no, no. We've, we've been talking to a waterfowl biologist and he's been looking at the stuff we've been sending him pictures of and yeah. uh, giving us advice or anything. But so, no, we're not definitely not. I had my degree in wildlife, but I did it in, in deer food, so I didn't learn much about waterfowl. So like you said, we've got a state wildlife biologist that's kind of a personal friend. We've known him right. for a long time. More of yours than mine, but right. acquaintance, almost the friend part. He's almost fined me a couple times. Yeah, he's almost fined you. He's a friend enough that he's let you out of a ticket or two. Yeah, I had to do a little community <laughs> service. So we're going we're gonna to go around, we're going to show you some of these kind of plants, and we're going to tell you what we and he thinks they are if we're wrong you let us know because we we've been studying we think we know we know we, what the millet is we think but we've got some other this stuff's packed with food really it's looking yeah. good yeah all right so let's go and give you a little tour and show you what we're doing and and show you some of the vegetation we got in here too here's the west end of the pool and we'll show you the vegetation in a second a uh, bunch of cattails still in here because we couldn't get them dissed out but we did hand chop a bunch so this would be the south end What's that down in the hole down there over there? Yeah, I forgot to mention the boys are down there playing. One yeah, shot Wheezy yeah, and Nevin. <laughs> For once, Nevin is not sleeping. All right. So now we're moving back to the east, and we've got tons of millet through this whole stretch is millet. And we're going to walk back to the west because I want to show that area too. So, so now I'm pointing back south southwest here and old golden boy and I came up here and planted the crap out of this when you were in Minnesota with our little hand turns yeah. I was gonna film that but I just wanted to get the job done yeah. I just didn't feel like it three kind of main uh, vegetation we've got in here and what we think it is so what are the three you're calling here why don't you show it to us well this little one here is nut sedge our biologist definitely identified that hmm. And ducks like that? I don't know. You know, ducks will eat almost any seed, as far as I can tell. So there's quite a bit of that in here. We didn't plant that. That's just wild. All right, what else do we got? Well, we've got here what we think is barnyard grass. And there's quite a bit of this. And I'll, I'll pick, a, pick it and hold it up high. Let me keep it up there. All right, and that's around here quite a bit. Again, that's natural. We didn't plant that. Yeah. Got the which, millet here, which we this is what we planted. And there is a ton of it. It's kind of a heavy stem and uh, a nice head. So that's the millet. And that's what we planted so much of. If the teal come in here, Fumbles has got his fifth wheel around, so he's checking this place every single day. So if he sees them in a specific spot, we'll set up there. Let's go on, head down onto that west end down in those trees and look at that hole where I did some cattail removal and show him that area okay. real quick. Now we did not plant millet down in this corner, but there's lots of grasses and some starting some invertebrates, er, ver, invertebrates are starting to show up down here, which ducks love to eat as well. So now I'm looking back east here, the truck and the blinder over there, and here is our west pool. Now I did cattail removal in here 
Woods, which has created a little nicer pool for us. And we were told this is where they shot the majority of their teal last teal year, teal season. So we might set up in this pool here as well. I just got to keep pumping water and I'm going to scout out some of these nearby public areas and I'm going to talk to the refuge manager of this refuge that's on over away from us and talk to him about what they're doing. And so I just kind of get generally familiar with what's going on in this area. Yeah. If you have any comments or questions at all about anything we're doing at the lease, put them in the comments section. If you've never seen our videos or if you have seen them before, I'm going to put links at the end here to see season one and season two. You can go back and check out some of our stuff. But I appreciate you guys joining us and we are super excited. We also have a live stream coming up on Wednesday and I think this guy's going to join me for a live yep. stream. I don't know if we'll have Dan or Aiden or who, but I think he's going to be, that's going to be uh, Wednesday at 7 o'clock will be our preseason live stream, so be ready for that. So thank you for joining us today.